Hong Kong has unveiled relief measures of 4.3 billion US dollars aimed mainly at the middle class and businesses to boost growth. Its budget package is expected to have a stimulus effect of 1.3% growth this year. But critics say it's short on bold measures. This year's Hong Kong budget got off to a noisy start. Dozens of protesters, some dressed as the Chinese god of wealth, waved banners and shouted slogans outside of government headquarters, demanding cash handouts and more welfare spending. Inside Parliament, two radical lawmakers interrupted the financial secretary's near two-hour-long speech, calling him a liar and protesting against the lack of proper planning to help retirees. The city faces one of Asia's worst income gap. So the government is proposing to inject an extra two billion US dollars into the community care fund to help the underprivileged. Another one billion dollars will be set aside to pay out the long-delayed old age living allowance. Taxpayers and businesses will also see a 4.3 billion dollar package of short-term relief measures, which works out to be less than last year. But not so, says the financial secretary. We more than half a million taxpayers will benefit from a one-off reduction in personal income tax, capped at $1,300. Higher child allowances, two-month waivers in public housing rents and electricity subsidies. Missing in this budget, however, a 770 cash handout dished out to all citizens last year. The finance chief stood his ground against dipping into Hong Kong's massive fiscal reserves, which stands at 95 billion US dollars. That's 23 months of recurring government expenditure. Now, Mr. Chang warned that welfareism hasn't served developed economies like in Europe well, and that the government is already committed to more public spending as well as infrastructure projects. No major property measures were announced, but Mr. Chang did promise to bolster land supply for residential use. Roland Lim, Channel News Asia in Hong Kong.